So I bought this cheap Amazon press around four years ago. And it still works. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways on how I made money with the heat press. And of course, I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons. But before that, make sure to hit that like button. It motivates me to keep pushing content. Let's go. And there's many ways to make money with the heat press, but I'm only gonna show you three. But before we go into detail, let me introduce the press to you. It's a really tiny press, so it can pretty much fit anywhere. And it's around like 40 pounds, so it's really movable for like anytime you wanna rearrange your shop or your workspace or whatever. The heat dimensions are 15 times 12 inches. Plus, it already comes quoted with a Teflon sheet. It's a swing away, so it does a full 360 rotation. And it's really easy to use. All you have to do is adjust the temperature settings, the time settings, and the little knob on top that controls the pressure. And for those who do not know what the knob does, it's an adjustment that helps you control the pressure. So whenever you're like switching from t-shirts to hoodies, you know, like the pressure that you want on the garment has to be precise. So this helps you kind of control it. And I bought the press on 2018 for $135. And I just went to Amazon to check the price. And man, it went up 50 bucks. Crazy, huh? So now that you know the press, let's talk about how you can make money with it. After that, we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons. And stay tuned because we're gonna announce the giveaway winner. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to check out that video. First, we're gonna talk about HTV, and that's heat transfer vinyl. And there's many ways to get HTV. One way is to order it already pre-cut. You can just go to Google, type in HTV pre-cut, and then you're gonna get a bunch of websites. And I do not recommend any of these because I had never had the chance to order from any of these companies. But if you do know a company that sells already pre-cut vinyl, please let me know in the comments. Or you could get yourself a cutter, like the Circuit or the Vinyl Master. That's the one I have. And I don't have anything cut up at the moment. So let's get to work. Okay, now that we have the design already pre-cut, I'm gonna give you a small little tips on how to press a t-shirt. First, we're gonna fold the shirt in half. We're gonna fold it from the collar to the sleeve all the way to the bottom seams. And we're gonna put it on top of the press and we're gonna press it for one or two seconds. That's gonna help us to get a center line. It's just a small guide to put the design nice and center on the shirt. Then, you're gonna preheat the shirt. And you want your design to be two to three inches from the collar. So what I usually do, I'll grab my fingers, you know, as a standard guide, and I put it underneath the collar. And the design should go underneath my, my uh, pinky, my pinky finger. Then I kind of scratch it, so it could give me a nice little dent, so whenever I line up the design, I know where to start from. And after that, it's time to get pressed. Pretty easy. Now, I'm gonna show you another way on how to put a design on a shirt with this Amazon transfer paper. And all you really need is a heat press, of course, and an inject printer. No, not a laser printer, a inject printer. And all the instructions on how to press this transfer already come inside of this package. So I'm not gonna go so into detail with this. And this process is even more easier because you don't have to weave anything. All you really have to do is print it, cut it out, and press it. And that's pretty much it. But let me show you. All right, so we're gonna print it on the same shirt. We're gonna press it on the center. We're gonna preheat it. Then we're gonna throw the transfer on top. We're gonna kind of line it up. Then we're just gonna press it. Okay. It's over. It's nice and hot. We're gonna peel it off. Pretty beautiful, huh? And I know what you're probably thinking. You're not showing us how to make money with the press. You're only showing us how to put a design on a shirt. Well, take it easy, my friend. I'm gonna get there. And the last way to put a design on a shirt is with a screen print transfer. What's a screen print transfer? It's a paper that you screen print on. Then you grab some powder and put it on top of it. Then you throw it inside of a conveyor to dry it up. And these are the end results. And they're super easy to heat press. And this option is way better than the other two that I just showed you because you really don't need anything. All you really need is a heat press 
and the transfer. The transfer is in the heat press. The transfer in the heat. And I'm not gonna go so into detail with all this unless you guys want me to. Then I'll create a video for you guys. So let me know in the comments. But screen printing transfers, it is one of the best ways to put a design on a shirt. One of the best ways. To me, the best way is screen printing. But anyways, I don't sell transfers, but I'm gonna hook you up with two websites where you could get them. The first one is called 613 Originals. And this is where I get my transfers from. So I highly recommend this one. The second one is called Super Color. And then I have never ordered from here, but I have seen and heard a lot of great reviews about this uh, website. So I highly recommend it as well. All right, now that you know how to put a design on a shirt, let's get down to business on how to make money. All right, we're gonna start with HCV and heat transfer vinyl. And we're gonna go very simple. You go to all the soccer teams, to all the baseball teams, to all the football teams, and ask them, hey, I charge five bucks, three bucks, four bucks to put your name on, on the back of your shirt or a number. And from there you start getting business. And this is just a very simple way to make money. You could do so many crazy stuff, especially if you have that cutter. You could take custom orders, you could create custom designs, you could start clothing brands, oh, and so many more. I'm just gonna stop there. The Amazon transfer paper. And you're more limited with this, but you could get so creative as well. You could do birthday shirts, you know, put a little design, happy birthday, with somebody's picture. They're also great for funeral shirts. You could also add vinyl and transfer to get a nice little beautiful look. And so many more stuff that you can sell with transfer paper. And I'll be honest, this transfer paper is really not that good. The quality kind of starts to fade away after a couple washes. So stick to the other transfer papers that I recommend in the websites before. Screen printing transfers. And you can honestly make really good money with the transfers. You can take so many custom orders and just press them, press them, press them. You can start a really nice clothing brand. You can order a bunch of transfers and whenever they order a shirt, grab the transfer, boom, and you press it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to attach a video that is going to show you the three most common mistakes when starting a clothing brand. And go watch it, only if you plan on starting a clothing brand. Alright, now let's talk about the pros and the cons. I'm going to start with the cons first. And it's a Chinese press, so don't expect a lot of great things out of it. Alright, one of the things that I don't like is that the heat platen is so small and I can't really do big designs. And whenever I have to do a bigger design, I have to heat press it twice. And that's more work and more time. And it takes even longer when I gotta do a huge quantity. So sometimes it's really not that worth it. Another thing that's annoying is that whenever I press a shirt, I gotta press a timer. And whenever the shirt is done, I gotta press the timer. And then I gotta press the timer again, and I gotta press the timer again. And it's fine whenever you gotta do like one or two shirts. But when you gotta do like a hundred shirts each day, you know, it gets annoying, it gets annoying. After the second year, the machine started to break apart. And a bunch of the screws started to get loose. The shaft started to get hard, the spin rotation was getting hard, but everything was fixable. I would highly recommend to PMI your machines at least once a month, at least once a month to maintain the, the life of the press longer. And I wanted to say something so bad about the press because it was made in China, but I'll be honest, I can't, I can't. Now let's talk about the pros. First, it's cheap, so it's very affordable. Second, the press came with a bunch of attachments, a mug press, a half press, and some other stuff. And I never even touched none of those. But if you guys want to see me put those to work, let me know in the comments. Plus, it's very light and tiny, so it can fit anywhere in your shop. Will I buy the press again? No way, Jose. The press is good only for beginners or for somebody that wants to press shirts as a hobby. I was pressing a lot of shirts my first year onto the business. And this press wasn't keeping up with my workflow, so I had to upgrade to a better press. And I still used it, but it wasn't my to-go press. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I do not recommend to get a press like this. I would recommend to spend a little bit more cash and get a better press. Because in the long run, that press will outlast this one. And it's going to be more uh, workable, I guess. Because eventually your business is going to grow and that press is going to grow with you. This one, you're going to leave it behind in the first, probably first couple months, if that makes any sense. Anyways, hopefully this video helped. Have a beautiful day and God bless. And the winner for the Screen Printer Starter Kit, thanks to Screen Printer Reg, is Susie Roman Shop Dulce Locura. And she won because she was a subscriber. So make sure to subscribe because this is not the only one that we're going to be giving away. Thank you so much for the love and support and God bless you all.
Look at the beauty.